Hey everybody, here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two waters. First up is Real Canadian Spring Water. Next up is Selection Brand Spring Water. So what these two have in common is they're both in 500 milliliter recycled plastic bottles and they're both from grocery store slash supermarkets in Canada. And they're both spring waters. And they were both sent to me by Connor Drinks Water. So let me just pause for a second and give a big shout out to Connor Drinks Water. He's a fellow water drinker on YouTube and he just out of the blue offered to send me these waters for the, the review series. And um, I also have to give him a shout out because he recently just passed 500 waters drank. And so I have this deal where anybody on YouTube who drinks 500 waters and puts it on YouTube, I give them a shout out. So this is a water review slash a shout out to Connor. Uh, he has a pretty cool channel. He does unique stuff while drinking water. Like sometimes he edits his videos and he also, he also has a water review of these two waters. When I was researching this, I searched YouTube for these waters and literally his review showed up near the top of the list. So, um, check that out. It's Connor drinks water. 300 is the, the review of these two in the comparison. So the selection brand water is from a Metro grocery store. This was $2 and 49 cents Canadian for a 24 pack. The real Canadian water is from real Canadian grocery store. Uh, it's called Superstore, And this was $2 and 97 cents Canadian for a 24 pack. So we're going to open them up and just do a taste test. Like I said, the bottles are very, very similar. This one seems to have a, the selection one seems to have a blue tint to it, which might be to like protect it from the sunlight. I think I read somewhere that they sometimes water bottle companies do the, the tint to the bottle to help stop uh, stuff from growing inside of it. It's very, a very slight blue tint. These are both pretty similar waters. The nutritional information on both of them is very similar. Zero fat, zero carbs, zero sodium, zero everything, except for the real Canadian has 2% calcium. The select water has 4% calcium. So this has a little bit more calcium. Connor drinks water says he preferred the real Canadian water, but even in his, in his review, he basically says that like, they're very similar. There, there's not like a clear winner, but he just says like the real Canadian water is like slightly better. So here we go. Let's open it up and do a taste test. I'm going to start with the selection. A little bit of a plasticky taste to it. Kind of similar to um, a Nestle water. Not, not bad, but there was like a slight plasticky taste to it. And big thanks to Connor for shipping these. He sent me multiple versions of each of these in case it makes it pretty far in the, in the water chart. And he spent $30, over $30 for shipping for this. Shipping international can be pretty expensive. I used to give uh, giveaways out on this channel. And I just excluded anybody in other countries because international shipping is just crazy. Um, so he spent the time to get these, to pack it up, go to the post office, spent $30. Thanks a lot, Connor. You know, big shout out to you for doing that. Here's the real Canadian water. It's a good one. It's a wet water. It's a... Uh, got like less of a plasticky taste to it um, this is more like a more like a niagara water this is like a nestle water uh, let's do the the ph test behind me see what their ph levels are okay here's the results of the ph test neither bottle really makes any claims about what their ph level is and uh, i'm colorblind so you guys look at the chart yourself and decide which color you think it matches up with and leave a comment saying which uh color you think it is it's real canadian on the left selection on the right it's pretty cool that both bottles are from 100% recycled plastic, PET plastic. Some waters that I've reviewed in the past say that they're like 30% or 20% recycled plastic. It's cool that these are both 100% recycled. Maybe that's why they have the blue tint to them. Maybe it's because they're recycled and it's just part of the recycling process gives it the tint. I have no idea. I'm just guessing. It's just a possibility. Uh, both of the bottles also have English and French on them. I think this is because of the Official Languages Act of Canada uh, from 1969, which uh, gives French and English laws or languages equal status in the government of Canada. I'm not sure though. I, I'm not sure 
if that law is just about official government stuff or if that also applies to businesses. But um, I think Connor mentioned that he got these around uh, Quebec. So I think it's just more... Maybe businesses just voluntarily also include French on the labels because they're near Quebec. I, I really don't know. I'm just guessing. But um, it's interesting. But honestly, that would be kind of annoying having to have French and English on every label. Um, I don't know. And my girlfriend is a big fan of Canada. When we first started going out, in the first week I asked her what's on her bucket list, like what she really wants to do. And she, on her bucket list is to move to Canada. Like she kind of doesn't like the United States and would like to move to Canada. And um, here's some fun facts about Canada. Canada is the most educated country. Over half of Canadians have a college degree, and that's more than any other country. Another one, Canada has more lakes than the rest of the world's lakes combined. Another one, Canada has the longest street in the world. It's 1,178 miles. It's Young Street, or Young, Young Street in Canada. Another fun fact about Canada, <laughs> now that this is funny, Canada invented the Hawaiian pizza. They call it Hawaiian, but it was invented in Canada. I have to agree with Connor. I'm not, honestly, I would give my honest opinion. I'm not being biased here, but I agree with what Connor said. I think the real Canadian water tastes better. It's just like less of a plasticky taste. Um, this has less calcium, but I don't think that's the reason why. I don't, I don't think the taste difference is because of calcium. I think it's something to do with the plastic. I think this just has less of a plasticky taste. Um, in Connor's review, he said that they're both... They were both purchased around the same time, and he said they were stored, uh, you know, for about the same amount of time. So I don't think it has anything to do with that. I think it's just the product itself. And, um, yeah, I'm saying it now. The, the winner, in my opinion, is Real Canadian. Let's move on to the next round. So. It's got, like, a louder crunch than normal. Did you guys hear that? Might be, like, a difference in the, the recycled plastic is louder. Alright, thanks for watching everyone. Goodbye.